From live streaming to videos, results, and more, ShowNet is the number one digital source for equestrians. Miss any of the action from the nation's top horse shows? The latest highlights are here in the ShowNet Weekly Wrap. The USCF Junior Hunter National Championship moves to the West Coast in the latest weekly wrap. Following two rounds of jumping and a final workoff, Violet Barnett emerged victorious in the prestigious Hunterdon Cup. Consistency was key to the victory. Barnett received scores of 85.5, 84.5, and 86, respectively, to claim the title. Jordan Allen rode small occasion to the coveted overall grand championship in the Junior Hunter 3'6 division. The duo's total winning score was 259 points. They racked up the accolades, taking home the Monarch International Perpetual Trophy, the Magic Word Perpetual Trophy, and the Small Collection Perpetual Trophy. Grace McReynolds and Crowd Pleaser won the overall grand championship in the 3'3 division. The pair was dominant, sweeping the large junior hunter 16-17 3-3 division. Their total winning score was 251 points. It was an emotional week at the Kentucky Summer Horse Show. Salvador Oñate kicked off the week with a win aboard Big Red in the High Yard Lexington Classic. The duo topped a nine-horse jump off by more than two seconds. They are bound for the Pan American Games in Lima, Peru with Team Mexico. The USHGA National Hunter Derby went to Haven Shot and Salt Creek. The pair received scores of 92 and 93, respectively, over the two rounds. Shot owns the eight-year-old Cell Francais Gelding. They were two points best in the final overall standings. Sean Wardley rode any to the win in the Rudin Riddle Grand Prix. The duo bested an eight-horse jump off. The new partnership is off to a strong start. The mayor has been in Wordly string for just a few months. The Kentucky Horse Park has hosted many wins for Irish rider Shane Sweetnam and the big-hearted Stallion Cyclone, and over the weekend, Sweetnam retired his mount in the famed venue stadium. Over the course of his lengthy career, Cyclone recorded 33 international victories and 99 top placings in 10 different countries. He retires to Spy Coast Farm to continue his career as a breeding stallion. Equifest kicked off its summer circuit with a win for Kaylin Leahy in the $25,000 Grand Prix. Leahy's winning mount was Steve Schaefer's Diamendi. They bested a 13-horse jump off by a dominant four seconds. The venue's USHGA National Hunter Derby was won by Holly Shepard. Her winning mount was Cheryl Rubenstein LLC's Capiche. They received scores of 91 and 88 respectively over the course of the two rounds. Capiche is a 10-year-old Hanoverian gelding. The Prix de Lamplight resulted in a win for Charlie Jane and To the Moon. The longtime partners were best in a robust jump off of 13 and were just under a second fastest in a class that saw just four double clear performances. At the Great Lakes Equestrian Festival, FEI two-star competition continued with a win for Abigail McCardle and Victorio 5 in the welcome stake. They bested a nine-horse jump off by just over a second and are finding their best stride after just a year of partnership. Ava Stearns won the inaugural Dudley B. Smith Equitation Championship. The 18-year-old rode North Run's Acer K to top honors, receiving top scores over two rounds of jumping. She prevailed over a field of the circuit's best-performing 3-6 equitation riders. The venue's USHJA International Hunter Derby was won by Jacob Pope and Becky Price's last word. The win marked Pope's first in international derby competition, and it was a dominant performance. The pair was victorious by nearly 20 points. Santiago Lombre continued his winning ways in Traverse City with a win aboard Ibobco in the Flint Fields Farm Grand Prix. They topped a nine-horse jump off for victory and were just one-tenth of a second fastest. The busy summer show season continues for ShowNet in the next weekly wrap.